the real Josh asked, what happened to those wild intros you used to have? And rumor has it they're coming back for the holidays. All right, I'm talking about serious shit here, man. Ain't nothing more serious than money. Question mark asterisk. Am I right? Bitcoin is diving again. And, you know, most people that talk about cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, 95% of them say, buy it and hold all it. And, you know, blockchain will fix that or whatever. And then sometimes they complain about politics or then they complain about inflation or then they complain about taxes. But other than that, that's pretty much no matter how many people or who they are, that's what they're saying. And sometimes I like to talk about Bitcoin, but I like to talk about all the other shit that nobody talks about. So like right now, Bitcoin is diving again. And if you've been watching Thor News, you know that that is no surprise, bro. Because A, I predicted that Bitcoin will probably get its butt kicked and crypto when Jupiter re-enters Pisces, December 28th, or like 10 days before. And so that is what we know. The exact details between now and then, we don't know. But we could take some guesses. And with the longest lunar, partial lunar eclipse in 600 years happening in Taurus, or the Algol demon star, with Venus and Capricorn, just entering shadow, you could kind of guess that um, there was going to be some trouble during this full moon. And especially if you've been paying attention to what I've been saying, you know, it would either go up, down, or go sideways. And so, yeah, it's going down right now. It is now at $57,000. And it, it just hit its all-time high of 68600 something right under... Elon Musk's October 20th prediction of 69,000. Um, and then after that, Elon sold a couple billion dollars worth of Tesla stock and his brother sold a couple hundred million dollars worth of Tesla stock. And so, you know, uh, did you ever watch Trading Places? You know, most of the years for quote unquote making money. But right before the holidays, everybody's got to buy their kid a G.I. Joe with the Kung Fu grip. So usually people take profits. Asterisk. And so while they're telling the average Joe money to repeat bumper stickers to all their friends, you know, like buy crypto, hodl, diamond hands, laser eyes. They're selling at the peak of it and then rebuying somewhere in the middle or you know, when it dips down, down, down. And remember, like, everybody knew that, like, yes, Wall Street is like a bank's and a central planner, central bank game, but the game changed when Silicon Valley got its own digital printing press and makes its own rules and runs its own show. And so I'm just suggesting that guys like Elon Musk or the creators of Google or the creator of Facebook or the creator of Twitter or the creators of blockchain or the creators of the best hackers, like they're always going to have big, huge steps of information that you will not have. They will always be able to front run whatever major moves the tiny group in the Silicon Valley crypto sphere are making. And so at a time where people should start get, be getting into the holiday spirit, They've got like the average Joe money complaining about inflation, inflation, complaining about politics, complaining about inflation during year two of a plague. Remember Thor News, they pretty much predicted, hey, this I'm guessing this thing's going to go about two and a half years. And so we got to make it through two dark winters and then hopefully it'll be gone by the or manageable by the spring of 2022. And that has been my prediction since the start of 2020. And so now we're about to enter dark winter two. And no matter what is happening, they're cranking the divide and conquer um, shit. And that's all I'm saying is part of they want to have people's holidays being like, okay, buy crypto, complain about inflation, compl like you could do anything, complain about politics. Wow, World War Three is almost breaking out and satellites are exploding over your head. And I'm saying be cool, man. Venus entered Capricorns like a week or two ago and Venus is going to then go retrograde on my birthday, December 19th. 
and then it'll go direct again. So Venus is going to be in Capricorn for like five months, which I've heard to the grapevine is going to super freak out fixed signs. Fixed signs, I think, are like um, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and I'm, I'm skipping one. Anywho, I'm just saying, so yeah, the prediction was around the full moon, you know, crypto, and we could see some major economic issues. So I'm highly recommending everybody stay cool and just be glad, you you know, be thankful for things you have in your life to be thankful for. And so the big eclipse that I've been talking about all year long um, is happening tonight, well, this morning at about 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. You should be able to see it almost everywhere in the United States if you're looking for it. Although there's a whole superstition about, is it, will you get bad luck if you're looking into the moon? I remember these superstitions that have pre-existed. America... And even like the BC year zero. What's it talking about? Okay. But yeah, so it's going to be a crazy, crazy week and close out of the year. And so I'm saying do the best you can with what you have, where you're at, and try to stay cool, man. That is part of, for the nine years of Thor News, just been trying to get everybody to keep a sense of humor, stay cool, and, you know, believe that good guys are real, good guys and good women. And that we can make it through all this shit and have the run 20s. And once we get out the ass end of this weird ass plague tunnel. And it's almost like they timed it out perfectly that the Kyle Rittenhouse murder trial would have its verdict almost at the eclipse. You know, if it comes out like tonight or it comes out tomorrow on Friday. And that almost, what, no, whatever, no matter what happens. Um, one side is going to be very upset. And so there's a chance there will be rioting, you know, or just civil unrest. And so I'm just in this weird headspace of like, okay, so this trial was because you had another riot. And so he went and shot people at a riot. And so then if he gets off and then there's another riot, will someone else get shot and killed? And then there'll be a whole nother trial that will be televised and divisive and polarizing. So it's like we're in a weird perpetual riot, murder, or kill syndrome. Perpetual, just weird divide and conquer made for TV or social media levels. Well, I don't know. It's crazy, man. That's what I'm trying to say. Strange days indeed, my friends. And on the optimistic God is good side, remember at the new moon, there was a festival of lights in the heavens during the festival of lights, Diwali. On November 5th and it was super duper cool and almost everybody was like wow that was neat and so yeah it's like yin and yang good and bad and we're watching it all happen escalatingly in real time and I'm still your planetary defense commander and I think we're gonna make it through this hey I could be wrong Bitcoin could spike to like eighty thousand dollars between now and December the middle of December but I definitely think it's getting its butt kicked in December we'll see though everybody's making predictions these days I guess what I'm trying to say is what I've been saying is don't be surprised if people who have been telling you to hold or tell you to hold your cryptocurrencies take profits before Christmas. Yeah. I mean, like I said, if you watch trading places, you know that traders need liquidity and that no cryptocurrency is not as liquid as the dollar. You can go buy pretty much anything with the dollar. Like if you need to get gas, you need to get at your grocery store, you need to get Subway, you need to get new boots, you need to pretty much everywhere in the United States takes the American dollar. And so cryptocurrency is not that liquid right now. So don't be surprised if people turn their crypto gains into liquidity over the next few months, definitely before Christmas and the holidays. So if you are average Joe holding crypto, just letting you know, there's a good chance you know you, like I said, you could have, anywho, but like, hey man, I'm broke. I'm not broke. I, 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 got, I have all my bills paid and I have four packs of cigarettes, three energy drinks and a six pack of Heinekens. So technically to me, that feels like rich these days. So I've invested the last nine years in being Thor of Thor News and last 7.7 years in being your planetary defense commander. That's where pretty much all my investment has gone. Well, and you know, God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, but that's my personal soul investment. What are we talking about here? Oh, yeah. But so I depend on your contributions and donations. And so, I don't know, the crypto guys in 2017, they used to make donations to Thor News. Like, hey, thanks, man. 
And now instead of donations most of the time, I just get like, have fun staying poor. I'm like, well, yeah, I do my best. You know, I've been paycheck to paycheck pretty much my whole life. And um, so technically people consider that poor. So I've always done my best to have fun staying poor or just, be, just having to be poor because, I don't know, man. Anyway, but if you'd like to make a contribution or donation, I've only got $564 left raised for my November Thor News fundraiser. Thank you to everybody in Astro Fight Club. Everybody that's cool. Thank you to the people that keep me alive through prayer or other means. I don't know. I'm very grateful. Man. And I believe better days are ahead. Probably in the spring of 2022. And you should know by now that you ahead of time that I get in the holiday spirit during holiday season. And I get a little extra optimistic that time of the year. And yeah, sure, all the information in this video is just, hey, Bitcoin right now is going down and is off its 68,000 all-time high down to like 57,000 last time I checked. Where will it go from here? Who knows, man. But there's probably going to be a wild full moon and a very interesting holiday run. So try and keep your heart and your humor with you because I still believe in God and good things and I vote for peace on earth every day. All right, God bless everyone. Stay cool. Have a great day.